Hi there, and welcome to our simple workflow going from insights to image generation to feed variation. But before we launch into that, we're going to look at our brand library and make sure that we've got all our text elements filled in to support our text generation and keep it on brand and all of our visual elements there to support creative automation. Once we've got all of this in place, I'm going to go in to create some insights. Here I'm looking at a premium coffee brand and I'm looking at generating 10 situational insights or brand moments. Each one of those is going to form the basis of a different ad. Let's copy those over to the main screen and we can see 10 great options. I'm going to take a few of these and I'm going to generate imagery for the ads next. As you can see here, I've already got a cozy fireside setting generated. I'm now generating imagery for a morning coffee with friends. Looking through here, you can see because I've prompted for my brand guidelines, so I've put color prompts, I've put tone prompts into my image prompts, I've got 10 great options here to choose from. That then means that as we move into feed variation, I'm going to be able to utilize those images really effectively. So I'm working from a template. I've already built my spreadsheet here and I've got a header for each of the main fields in my spreadsheet. And I've got that brand moment column that will inform my copy generation. I'm entering my text manually for field two and then I'm adding an image from my asset library in that image column. The last thing I need to do here is map my columns to the right position on my original template, including that image column. We'll instantly see a preview. I could look through all of them, but for speed, I'm just going to generate straight away. And what we should see pretty swiftly, there we go, is four great quality ads, and this could be scaled up so much. So that's a really quick workflow. Thank you.